we're going to talk about honor work a little bit. And with everything in our program, it all starts with basic obedience. So when we say honor work, what that means is one dog sitting patiently while another one goes out and works and does a retrieve. So situations that this applies to is if you're in a hunting situation, duck blind, pit, something like that, and you've got multiple dogs there. So your buddy brings his dog, you've got your dog, maybe another guy's got a, a dog. Say you've got two or three or four dogs in the blind and you go out and you hunt and let's say we get birds down, what we don't want is a whole pile of dogs just going out and picking all these birds up. It really needs to be structured and controlled. And this is called honor work. One guy can go out and work his dog while the other one sits patiently, quietly and waits his turn. We start this all with basic obedience, okay? So before we even go out and put any dummies out or birds or anything, we're gonna make sure that we've got this rock solid in the yard with basic obedience. So what I'm gonna do, all of these dogs have been through their formal hand training, their obedience training, so they all know to sit, stay, and recall by name. But just to reinforce this honor work, what we're gonna do is some recall drills where I just call their name and then they should come. The other three should sit and wait patiently their turn to be called up. So I'm just gonna put them in a line here. Sit down. Pip, sit down. So now I've got them in a line. And before I call them up, what I may do is just do a couple little drills to make sure that they're steady on their stay. And what I might do is just walk in between them, stay. Just reinforce this. Sit. That looks pretty good, nobody moved. So now what I wanna do is just recall them up one by one. Diesel. Sit. Good. Pippa. Sit. Good. Sit. Sit down. Wait. Wiz. Sit. Drew. Sit. Good. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Nobody broke and came when another dog ran. So now I've got the dogs in the right frame of mind to actually introduce some honor work here. And the way I do it again is I just set it up in something very simple. What I'm going to do is just throw, a, throw out a dummy and I'm just going to pick a dog to go pick it. The other one should sit patiently and wait their turn. If anybody breaks here, then that's my opportunity as the trainer and the handler to stop what I'm doing and go focus on that dog for just a second and get that corrected. So if one of them should happen to break, that's exactly what we'll do. What I'm going to do here is just send one by name, Drew, dead. Good, sit. We'll go ahead and put out another one. We'll give every dog a chance to do this. If they sit patiently, the reward for doing this is they get to go pick. Dead. Sit. Dead, sit down. Now she got up and moved, so I'm gonna correct this right now. Sit. I'm gonna give her a firm sit with my voice. Sit, that's the correction. Now we've got one more dog to go. Whiz. Now we had two dogs got up there. That's not what I wanted. So what I did is I corrected them right away with my voice, Pippa, sit. Sit, wait. Put them right back where they got up, sit. And we'll try this again. Whiz, go back. Sit down. Dead. Sit down. It's best to start this with two dogs. If you've got a buddy that's got a dog, that's perfect because then you've got two handlers out there, two dogs. So you can really focus in on this. One guy can stay there, focus, with, focus on his dog while your buddy runs his dog and then switch. It'd be his turn to stay in honor while you run your dog. At first, you want to do this with your dog on a lead because if they do break, then you've got them on a lead. You can stop them and correct them right there on the spot. So do not move to off lead work with this until you're 100% sure that your dog is calm and steady at your side with the lead on. But this is how we start it. 
So from here, I'm pretty satisfied with that other than the two girls broke a little bit there, but they did stop for me and came back. So it wasn't a wreck. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So from here, we could actually go out into the field and actually run some retrieves with these dogs as a group. So this is where I would start. This is a good, a good place and a good exercise to do. What if you do have multiple dogs out on your hunt and you've got to handle two of them? Or say you've got your dog and your hunting buddy's got his dog and you've got two birds down. And let's say we've got a scenario where we've got a bird shot here and a bird shot out here. This bird's stone dead and we think that one's stone dead as two, but then all of a sudden your buddy sees it and says, oh, it's got its head up and it's swimming away. What are you gonna do? You've gotta get a dog on that wounded bird as quickly as you can. So if you've got this dog out here working, you, you may have to stop him so you can get another dog going out here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do now. We're gonna set up this scenario and we're gonna work both dogs out in tandem and uh, see if we can get these two birds picked. So we're gonna set it up. This will be our wounded bird out here. And what we're gonna do is now put out our, our bird that's dead, no problem. Diesel, sit down. Okay, so again, our situation is we've got two birds down. This one's dead. We think this one's swimming away. And I've already got this dog going out to get that one. So what I need to do is stop him and get this one on the bird that's swimming away as quickly as possible. Wiz, go back. Now he should hold there while I go pick this wounded one. Diesel, back. Good. Go back. Dead. Now we got those picked up pretty well. It's not gonna go quite that smoothly out in the hunting field because you may have stuff you just gotta deal with. But the, the point here is we've got dogs that are under control that you can stop and keep this one still while you handle another one. It could be a situation where you've got your dog out here and your buddy's dog needs to go pick that one up that's swimming away. What you don't want is this guy over here doing a lot of handling while you're trying to get another dog to swim after a, a, a wounded bird because what's gonna happen is the dog that's going out to pick the one that's wounded, that's swimming away, if he hears you over here handling this dog, he's gonna get confused. He's gonna hear stop whistles and he's gonna stop. He's gonna see you handling the other dog. He's gonna get pulled off when the goal is we gotta go pick that bird up that's swimming away before we lose it. So that's a situation that you may find yourself in that you need to train for. Get yourself and your dogs prepared for those situations before you go out into the blind.